This land forms a chunk of Ontario's plan to tackle the housing crisis, a swath of protected green space and farmland. This is really a major assault by the provincial government. The province has a goal of building 1.5 million more homes over the next decade. Tens of thousands would be located in what's called the Greenbelt, removing protections from several parcels of land to be opened up for housing. A coalition of 200 groups and people has written a letter to say why that's wrong. If we are going to build healthy cities and healthy neighborhoods, you have to live and deal appropriately with the environment, not just plow through. The government says that by 2050, nearly 3 million more people will be living in and around Toronto. Using the green belt to build homes is part of its answer to that growing population. But while critics agree on the need for more housing, they say the solution isn't building out but up. The idea that we spread out thinly on the land, building big pipes, big infrastructure, what it does to the environment is devastating, but it also does terrible things to public health in the form of a sedentary lifestyle. Others point to the financial cost of sprawl. We're going to need much more transportation infrastructure. We're going to need to run more utilities, all to just get a small drop in the bucket as far as homes go. CBC News has found the owners of several Greenbelt properties now up for development bought that land after Premier Doug Ford came to power. The NDP raised that. These developers bought the protected land at a very cheap price and now with a stroke of your pen they can develop that land for incredible profit. We need to ensure that we have a plan that not only builds uh, the volume of homes that we need but we also need the right types of homes. Opponents point out the province could hit its target by using land that's already designated for new housing. Lisa Shing, CBC News, Toronto.